Hey everybody, thanks for tuning in to New Life Health Ministries. How's it going? I just wanted to give you my uh, mission statement and purpose here on the site. Created a new little page for this. Hopefully it's not terrible. It won't be terrible. Just wait for it. Because I want to let you all know what's the point of all of this. Good. Point? Get it? Okay. The point, well, our mission statement's this. To spread the message of health for the mind, body, and soul so that others can know how to live a healthy, joyful lives and continue to spread this message themselves. There's a few different elements there I want to point out. First being that our, it's our body. It's about healing our bodies. Why? Because our bodies are the temple of God and we need to treat them as such because that is a form of worship and how we eat. More so into that idea of worship if our mind's not in the right place, if our spirit's not in the right place, if our body isn't healed, some part of us is holding back, and we can't give our all to God. We can't worship Him with our all. And that is truly what we're created for, is to worship. So I want us to be healthy to do that. Part of that, of course, one of my focuses is going to be hormones. I talk about anxiety, depression, fear, all that good stuff, because it comes from this place of, oh, he's in a bad mood, or you're in a bad mood all the time. It's because you're not eating right, and your hormones are thrown off. And I want to address that so we can all learn how to be healthier. We can all learn to be in a better mood, look more appealing to the outside world so that people say, hey, I want what he has and what we have is health. Part of that comes through Christ and part of that comes from not being ignorant about our own nutrition. And I believe that understanding and knowledge is part of who God wants us to be. First gift listed in the spiritual gifts is knowledge followed immediately by wisdom. And I believe wisdom plays an important I believe wisdom and you plays an important part when we look at our knowledge of nutrition and how we apply it. And that's going to be an important part of what's going to make us want to spread it. Also part of that is discipleship. I have a friend who um, started a group called New Life Alliance. Actually, I, I helped him start it and then I left him there so that they can grow and they can tell each other how to heal one another and they can spread out as an alliance. We started a Facebook group recently, New Life Health Alliance. And I want to help more people start their own alliances so that we can disciple others. And we get this message of health out and we spread it. Why do we want to do this? Because it's what Christ did. I want to look at my inspiration coming from Matthew chapter 9, starting in verse 35. And I'll read this to you. And Jesus went throughout all the cities and villages, teaching in their synagogues and proclaiming the gospel of the kingdom and healing every disease and every affliction. And when he saw the crowds, he had compassion for them because they were harassed and helpless like sheep without a shepherd. Then he said to his disciples, The harvest is plentiful, but the laborers are few. Therefore, pray into the Lord of the harvest to send more laborers into his harvest. That's my prayer, that God sends more laborers into the harvest, more workers with that same heart Jesus had, going to all the villages and towns. We don't really have villages anymore, but going to all the cities and preaching the gospel news, preaching about the health, and going around and healing every affliction and disease. That's the point of everything we do here at New Life Health Ministries. It's health for your mind, health for your body, health for your soul, all for the glory of Christ. That's all. sing. It's bacon. And yeah, that'll probably be the only rhyme you ever get from me, because I ain't got no bars. I just have strips of crispy bacon. The future is waiting on you.
there's some new workers willing to do my work. Pray God sends more. I mean, that's the passion. That's my life verse. That's my passion is to go heal and to be part of the work for Christ because Christ doesn't want us to just spread the great news. He wants us to help heal people in their mind, in their body, and in their soul. So many of those examples were lepers, mutes, blinds, diseased. But there was also the calling of the disciples' mind and the calling of Matthew to discipleship. And when the Bible says to love your God with all your heart, soul, mind, and strength, I believe part of that love is to share health with other people through your heart, your soul, and your mind. Find someone worth investing and invest wholeheartedly. Something like, so it sounds like real pit. Like when I say that, I'm like, I'm expecting like a top hat to roll off my head. I catch it or something. You know, I'm holding a can. So find something worth your investment, boy. So huzzah! <laughs>